Today we prepare brioche bread, the classical French uh, traditional brioche bread, and I made some uh, variety, uh, one with sugar, one with praline, and one with praline just on top or praline inside, with this wonderful taste of butter that we like. Hello, I'm Chef Vivienne, French chef. Today we will prepare brioche bread. It is fluffy, it's tasty and from very simple ingredients. I need one egg for uh, to put on top of my brioche. So I have no, but maybe there is there. Hello, crazy chicken. How are you this morning? You want to eat something? Here we have. Yum, yum, yum. And we have eggs from yesterday and eggs from today. Today of four chicken. In France, uh, brioche, we eat it for breakfast, we eat it for uh, five o'clock, for special moments like uh, for Pasqua, like for Christmas. Uh, today we will do a, si a simple, a simple but very tasty brioche. Fresh yeast, sugar, salt, flour, eggs, butter and something for dressing or nothing. If you have a fresh yeast, Alors here I make from 500 gram uh, flour. I have 22 grams uh, yeast. If you have a fresh yeast or if you have instant uh, dry yeast or if you have just dry yeast and you will find all grams, the corresponding grams regarding of what you, what you can find, what you can use in your house. Usually we will use water. Which amount of water? depend of your eggs. So in my case, so in you need classically, you need around 300 grams, weighted them and they are 289 grams. That is why here I have 11 grams and the total of this is 300 grams for 500 grams flour. I hope for you that you won't have 300 grams eggs <laughs> and you can use a little bit of water. We start with fresh yeast, we put in, so you can use it and cut in little pieces like this. We will mix a little bit. We put a little bit of sugar, the floor. We add the sugar to put eggs that I will crush one by one before I use. And this way they will not touch the sugar. Because when an egg touch a sugar, it will start to cook, let's say, if we don't mix immediately. When you do dough with yeast, don't put together yeast and salt because salt kills the yeast. So now we have eggs and now we can put the salt here and you can mix in the first speed. It's possible to make with ants, it's just much longer. Meanwhile, our dough is uh, working. We take hot water and we let it like this. This will warm the bowl, the glass bowl. Voilà, it's it's useful if you don't uh, if it's spring and or if it's uh, if it's spring and you don't have any radiators uh, switch on because it's uh, house uh, normally warm. You don't need uh, to warm any uh, oven. Uh, you just should put a little bit hot water in a bowl and this will do a fantastic job. Now, when your dough start to be a little bit uh, a little bit elastic, doesn't stick so much, we will put for a while in a second speed. And now we can incorporate butter 
in three times you cut little pieces and press with your hand, with your finger like this when all the butter is the first part of butter is integrated we follow and add butter voila we end to put the last uh, pieces of butter and we are around 20 minutes and when this butter will be integrated I will show you and we will have a rest the dough and myself all the butter is inside we mix the dough around quite half an hour we have a very very elastic dough and we will put in the bowl where hot water we put a little bit of sunflower oil so the bowl is not hot but it's gently warm so we take this fantastic elastic dough look this very elastic and we put in this bowl now just some film you can use a towel eh? but I prefer this and this dough need to grow till twice its volume usually yeast like temperature between 25 and 30 degrees okay so let's say 28 degrees well, it must take one hour one hour and a half depending of many many conditions two hours later quite two hours passed now we have many carbonic gas here because many fermentation oh, it makes gas fermentation so don't breathe so so much strong some oil in a flat tray it can be the tray of the oven as you see many many bubbles what? and very 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 much elastic many bubbles as you can see here we keep it like this and we put it in the fridge for a night or at least at minimum eight hours eight hours but usually for a night it will be okay the next day well i'll do relax one night one big night in the fridge it grew a little bit but the most important is that it takes flavor now we will wait it in order to make kind of free little brioche look at this bubbles of fermentation every mold will be made with three balls and we need for this to weigh them around 120 grams each ball 22 it's okay uh, if you don't have this kind of mold you can use this kind of mold so of course it will be bigger balls and a bigger time of cooking for two molds we need six balls and now we need to work this so now the, the, the dough is cold so we put a little bit of flour you can also make it with uh, oil but I recommend better a little bit very this just fleury and now you need to make it a little bit flat and we need to give force to this brioche so this way after that we press this way and once again this way this way this way it's my technique to give force to grow the gluten but there is other ones but I, I love this one because after you will see after cooking it's a perfect texture for me inside when you press the dough is coming back to its form like memory form and when it's finished you form a bowl this way you take the border of the cycle and put in the center this way you make a bowl or this way so this is one bowl oh hurry up because as you work it out is coming warm so the butter start to melt let's say to melt so it start to stick a little bit 
So you need to do this fast and in a cold room. Voila, now I made two. Now they will, uh, two brioche. Now they will have a rest once again. They must grow around 30 minutes, from 30 minutes to one hour, depending the weather, depending the temperature of the room. Usually 45 minutes, it's a good average. Today, amazing uh, dough, very amazing, very elastic. So this is a promise of a fantastic brioche. Later. After an hour, grew up about wow, twice his volume. I made a free little surprise. I like to make surprise. So it's a plain one, one with praline. Praline, it's uh, from city of Lyon. It's an almond uh, with uh, sugar and uh, some natural colorant. And one which is stuffed with homemade praline of hazelnut. Just remain, remain two. We connect with a little bit of water and some salt. And now we will gently put our dorure. This is dorure, so it, it's to, to put a nice gold color. But take care that no drops will fall on the paper or on the tray. Now oh, my oven is still at 180 degrees, of course. Just to make it nice and to understand what's inside. I have a special sugar for chouquette or for brioche. It's very, how to say, puffy with this sugar, which stick on the egg, of course. You can decorate with whatever you want or even with nothing. Just just egg and let it plain, plain brioche. Every time when you do something, do it with the most important ingredient, love. And we go in oven, uh, I put it on 180, 180 degrees Celsius. I will put the tray inside and slow down directly at 170 degrees Celsius. For those one, around 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depend the reaction. Every time is different, you need to judge and your oven is different. 20 minutes later. Well, this brioche is ready, free taste. It's important to put them on a, on a grill, on a grid. If you, if you don't put in the grid, they will be wet and not crunchy. The flavor, the, 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 the smell of this, it's very amazing. At the moment, they need to rest, and we call it this moment, uh, we call it resué, when you make bread or when you make uh, this brioche. But never cut it hot, you need to, to wait. It can be a little bit warm, but not hot. Our brioche bread is ready. Now we will cut to check if it's good. Oh la 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 la. Voilà, you can see very soft, elastic, fantastic. And now we can try this piece of loaf. Have a look to this. As I say, eh, crispy outside. You listen and inside, so a different texture because there is a lot of praline inside, but a lot of gourmandise. Boom. Okay, and what I supposed to be the best at the last, with praline. Praline is just some hazelnut, that you put in some kind of caramel and you mix, you mix, you mix. This is... I love hazelnuts since I'm very little. 